What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? We are here for Luna Classic. We're looking into this ecosystem, this vast ecosystem, trying to figure out what we can do in it, how we can play in it, what coins we can invest in, what memes there are available. All those pieces we're trying to figure out and navigate to see what does Luna Classic have to offer. And the answer is quite a lot. In fact, it's really being rebuilt in the same way that it was originally created, with the exception being there won't be a way to unpeg Terra and Luna once it's been finished. Now, there's obstacles to getting there, and we'll talk about the obstacles in upcoming episodes. However, for today, we're going to look in on the news, we're going to look in on the price, and we're going to look in on one of the projects, and we're going to check this out. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and to help me out, share this with as many people as you possibly can, whether it be on X, whether it be on Facebook, wherever you share your uh, socials, then share this video so that more people are informed about the Terra Luna Classic system. Not the craziness, not the not the, well, we're going to a hundred million, billion, billion dollars, you know, kind of people. Now I'm going to do that for you every once in a while, but I'm going to do it because CoinGate says so, or I'm going to do it because I find an article that says we're going to do some crazy number. I'm not going to tell you we're going there, but I'm going to report it to you. And I'm going to tell you why they think that way. So uh, again, strap in, let's get after it. Okay. First up, uh, the SEC uh, and Terraform Labs, as you know, are in a hearing right now and trying to figure out what the proper penalty is going to be. But in the meantime, Montenegro has halted the Doquan extradition. So um, something weird happening. The appeals court decision to block extradition sends the case back to the first instance court for a retrial, prolonging the legal saga and delaying Kwan's return to South Korea to face charges. Meanwhile, the SEC's pursuit of significant penalties continues, highlighting the severe consequences of the alleged misconduct of Kwan and the Terraform Labs in the cryptocurrency industry. So... Now, um, the SEC has recommended that Quan be barred from serving as a financial officer. By the way, that's probably going to go through. He, he'll never be in charge of a crypto uh, commodity or security or financial asset in the United States ever again. I'm going to say that that's for sure. Okay. Um, also, uh, it should be noted that JCH was deported to South Korea in early February already. Now, the SEC you know, they want their guy, if you will, the guy who did this shit overseas to other people, you know, crazy story. You guys know the drill. Uh, so I don't think that anything becomes of it. However, they're restarting the appeal one more time. Also, um, this is why you don't trust some of these uh, sites. This is crypto newsflash right here. And it says Binance burns over 59 billion Terra Luna classic tokens in latest lunk burn. Now, first of all, that's not true. It's not even close to true. Binance burned 59 billion tokens total in the two years that they've been burning tokens. So every once in a while, we just get it wrong. And these guys, they really got it wrong. But the reason that I wanted to bring this up, CoinGate says that uh, the 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 3.0.1 upgrade, and by the way, here is the vote, but it's already passed. So we're, we're already good with this. And if you're interested, then Lunk Dash will tell you uh, exactly who voted how. It's 12110. And you can come down here. Nobody has voted anything but positive on it. Even Jesus himself um, has, has voted yes on this. Might be feeling the pressure. I don't know. I, I'm not I'm not sure. Uh, in fact, his validation might be going up for all I know. You know what I mean? Um, so uh, it, again, if you vote, if you if you like the way that some of these people vote, then then stick with them. If you don't like the way that they vote, then don't stick with them. That's your decision to make. Um, I can tell you I don't like it sometimes, but you know. Uh, as far as uh, uh, as far as increasing the burn tax to 1.5, first of all, look, and I know you, I know you like the idea of burning more, but if we do that, then most probably we lose the support of Binance. I'm just going to tell you that I don't give a shit, like one way or another. Um, if we lose the support of Binance, then you know, um, then we're probably not going to burn as much because remember, in four days, Binance is going to do another big burn. So I would at least uh, consider that. Uh, and then over here, you can see how everybody's voting. It doesn't look like it's going to pass. It looks like there's way more no, uh, and there's plenty of no with veto here. Uh, they've pretty much said, you know, listen, we can't do this. And there's some people, look, you want to burn more tokens. We we want to burn more tokens. The, the whole idea here is to burn more. And I'll be honest with you, we're stuck and kind of caught in a position. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but if we re-enable a repeg between Lunk and, and USTC, 
the centralized exchanges don't like that because they would have to update and they don't want to update and they've kind of bucked us and that's why we're still waiting so this is a very difficult process to navigate. People are looking for ways around it to try to figure it out. That's what we're doing in the background, just in case anybody is wondering. It is being worked on. It's just we're not there yet. And we're going to need somebody big to support us uh, in this endeavor. Uh, it could be on-chain, but there's not a whole lot on-chain. we got to get people onto the chain. So at some point, and, and by the way, since there's no leader, since there's no leadership. We're just adrift without an oar at this point. And there's governance. The, the governance proposal that you're allowed to do is how we're managing that process. And this is what it looks like right here, where you get shit like increased burn tax, uh, change mode of splitting burn tax, increase and in support of Binance charity. Uh, now they're just trying to grease the palm, if you will, of Binance uh, charity. So, um, you know, funny stuff happening. Um, and then, of course, the, the Genuine Labs proposal. So uh, let's get back into it. But this is going to uh, be a big, a pretty much a big upgrade. Upon approval of this upgrade, the proposed binary is deployed on the chain through a ch chain halt software. Upgrade means that Terra Classic chain will be halted at block 18,303,000. And the protocol will require validators to replace the old binary with the new. The upgrade is estimated to happen on June 2nd. The proposal has received 100% votes in favor of the community until now. Among validators, four participated in the governance voting and all have voted in favor of the proposal. So uh, will that increase... Uh, um, will it increase price action? Most probably because, you know, we're bringing vibrance and we're bringing, you know, enthusiasm back to the chain. So uh, this could lead to a big spike. We're going to look at the, the price action in just a moment. Uh, also over here on uh, governance, the 1.2 tax burn proposal, another person that says, oh yeah, if you know, we just increase, increase burns and we have a lot of words here to increase burns. And I'm not, again, look, I, I know that we have to burn more tokens, but uh, just increasing it, again, goes against centralized exchange. It goes against Binance. Binance is not going to do it. So this is the same thing that we happened when we did this burn tax to begin with. So, you know, it, it's just ridiculous to, to me. Anyway, uh, there is a discussion here about uh, expanding staking options. We should probably read that and go through it and see if it makes it for a proposal. And then there's the implement proposal 12098. Um, so uh, there's a lot going on. So make sure you go to Commonwealth and check it out. Now, price action. Uh, price action uh, is predictable. Uh, predictable AF, because what do we get? Uh, we got the spike here. We got the spike here. Then we got the spike here. Boom. Uh, just like that. Um, I told you guys that this is probably the line that was going to happen. Uh, and, and I got lucky to, to have called it right there. But then I told you that this right here is going to be our rejection line, right? Well, what happened? Uh, we dumped immediately because we got just an impulse move. What does that impulse move look like? Well, from here to here, it was a standard 786 Fib retracement move. Uh, and then it came back down. And where do we get rejected? 11,673, the space that I told you before was going to be the rejection spot. And then what would happen from here? We're just going to kind of meander around into this range for a little bit of time until we have a, a real and significant breakout. Now, um, this right here uh, probably represents the next spot. So I would be looking for a move up into the 13s around this range here. Now, I can't say for sure and, and specifically that this is going to happen. Uh, this is the range between the last two. You can see that. Uh, and then the same thing over here. It's a little bit longer. You can see it's getting just a little bit longer. So I was just kind of adding some additional time to it. So somewhere around here, I think we're going to have another big uh, spike. And that's going to be the middle of June. A lot of people are talking about the middle of June being one of those moments where things get crazy. So be looking for that coming in the next little while. So uh, USTC, uh, again, not as big a fan as you guys uh, maybe would like. Uh, in, in this context. And you can see that this descending line here that we've been dealing with for a long period of time, and I could zoom out here, but we, you know, we're, we're pressed for time, but you know, it's been coming down. It's breaking out to the side, but here's the problem. Problem is it's not coming out and just absolutely, uh, you know, it, it needs to break out of this range and not come back down for this two cent test. Now, if we could do that and we can make a move up above 2.3, then a breakout would be confirmed. And you know, we're still following this pattern right here. And I said, you know, we're going to have a breakout in this range, but we've got to get over it. Well, we got over it, but we didn't stay over it. We came back down. Now we're just kind of trending along. Now, here's the good news. Uh, the good news is this looks like uh, another pennant that could be breaking out. Uh, you can make that argument right there that we've got another, um, we've got something else happening and that might be a, a big positive. So we'll see how it plays out. But again, I, I, I the, the amount of, Opportunity here is limited based on um, based on the the long term way that this is happening. Now, again, remember what happened last time. We got the move, 
And then we got this breakdown kind of broke out, right? Which that's what we're seeing right here. You know, we're, we're seeing this right here playing out over here again with that sideways movement coming right there. Then, you know, a couple days of sideways movement and then boom, we get some kind of breakout, right? Well, uh, this next breakout to me represents this spot right here, which is kind of this right here. So, you know, we're looking at the same kind of thing happening again with a breakout into this range and then boom, we get another big breakout. So it is happening. It's coming. Uh, just a matter of timing. Now, uh, let's move on to um, new tokens that are that are out here. Uh, and you can see my wallet down just a little bit, 517. But look up from 200 bucks. Again, this was $200 uh, originally. It's $517 right now. Uh, you've got a MAGA token out here doing a 5X. Uh, you've got uh, Pepe out here doing a 6X. C Hall, 14X. Burn, 15X. Uh, Savek, 24X. Uh, so, you know, go in, check these out and do some trading. Uh, check them out. Um, Tom and Jerry out here. We've got Rakoff. Um, uh, Soon uh, is up 32% uh, in the last uh, day and is trending right now. So uh, a lot going on. If you're interested, go to coinhall.org. Uh, as far as long-term price, uh, 30 million in trade volume up 24%. Shouldn't be up, like we're not we're not trading it. The, the Binance burn is going to be very underwhelming. I would expect some some problem with price. It, when when this comes around uh and also over here uh you can see that we're up 10 percent on the day in volume but down on the price to 22.37 so uh let's talk about the project for the day and that one's going to be frag the lunk zombie p2e gaming on luck and you can go check this out at frgtoken.tech now i'm going to show you where uh you can go test the game out i've got it paused in the background right now but these are the NFTs. This is what they look like. Uh, pretty fun. They've got stats on them. And each one of these stats that you have uh, allows you to get something as a reward in the game. Now, uh, this is uh, where you buy the NFTs. This is part of the Miata.io. And I'm working, by the way, with Miata to provide you a little more information about the Miata profile. You can see I'm already connected here. Uh, and there's the Lunk Zombie Commandos. Uh, and remember, there is a rare, there's an epic. So you're going to be looking for that for better gameplay. You got common, legendary, uh, epic, rare, different categories. So, uh, and, and you can go buy these. You can either mint them or you can buy them on the open market. So um, go check them out. Uh, then here is the white paper. White paper is very simple, very straightforward. Uh, it just tells you, you know, a little bit about the game, uh, the aliens first arrived on attack, uh, how the zombies were created, the DNA compounds created by the war. Uh, with the Z rain caused our natural viral strains to mutate, creating a viral outbreak across the globe. Um, uh, and then coming down here, the NFT collection, there's 10% legendary, 20% epic, 30% rare, and 40% common. Uh, 200,000 lunk uh, per mint. So, you know, 20 bucks roughly um, to, to, mint a, uh, to, to mint one of these and then start playing. And then the purpose of the NFT collection, fund the remainder of the gaming development contract, uh, create a uh, pool of funds to maintain the NFT staking reward pool, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, create a pool of funds for gaming tournaments and giveaway. Create a pool of funds to maintain the, the play to earn and play to burn functions. Create a fund to develop future FRG games and projects with possibly four games in total. Then you have some staking features. All rarity classes will be the same. The benefits of holding higher rarity NFTs is in the gaming advantages, not the staking advantages. And then you have your, your fund distribution on exactly how it works. No tax on it. Uh, but this is what the game looks like. Uh, you can see this is me. Um, it's the characters called Susipto. Um, and if you are interested, you can come over here and you can kind of see his stats. Uh, you can come down here and you can withdraw if you are so inclined and interested. And then over here, you can actually put in an amount from your wallet in order to burn tokens if you so desire. Uh, and then over here, Pepe just hit an all time high. And to celebrate, Cryptonomy. Dot finance is giving away Pepe $10 up to $1,000, a total of $100,000 prize pool. Anybody who signs up today and follows the instructions that I'm about to give you will qualify for Pepe. First, follow Cryptonomy underscore Phi on X. Initiate a deposit at Cryptonomy.finance. Start staking or join the launch pool. We'll check my res results pretty soon. Uh, and then like and retweet, uh, retweet this post. The deadline is going to be June 15. It's open worldwide. So get in while you can right now. This Pepway giveaway is going to be a big one. Now, 
What am I looking like over here? Well, let's start with this one. Uh, I just earned 0.1012 Bitcoin. That was $600. Remember, we staked this back in November of last year. Uh, also, we staked another one in January for uh, a two month, a three month period. We locked it in. We got 0.037 Bitcoin. Uh, that is the equivalent of uh, $1,800. We made $2,400 in the last couple of months off of using the staking mechanism with Cryptonomy Binance. I took the longer term for the rest of these, and you can see that the accrued interest uh, expected so far. Now, I've earned in rewards, as you can see right here, about $2,400, but it's going to be $4,800 over the next couple of months. And remember, I've continued to stake and continue to stake and continue to stake because I'm looking uh, to get this through the bull run. And when the bull run comes, then... I say that I've earned this in dollars. It's not really even in dollars. It's in the crypto right now. Uh, and then hopefully that crypto price goes up and then you see it happening right there. But the big one, the big one is the launch pool. Uh, look at the returns that are coming through. We got 12X on Theta Knots. Uh, Verita, VDA, 1.37. Engines of Fury, 4X. Lifeform, 4.8X. Going down this list, you can see a lot of different launches, a lot of different big moves. TARS Protocol, 13X. You guys are familiar with TARS X. I've talked about them before. So if you want to earn some Pepe, then make sure you sign up at cryptonomy.finance today. Make sure you follow uh, the X account. Uh, make sure that you like and retweet that. And then make sure you make a deposit and start staking either in the flexible, fixed, or launch pool today. This is the leaderboard. Uh, and then if you are looking to play, here's your war map. Uh, and then you click on it. Uh, and then you're going to enter. And here you go. And by the way, you're going to use like the WAS format to do this. All right, so <laughs> now it, it is, by the way, set up right now for you to lose because it's got some big mobs over here, big monsters that are are, are there right now because the game is still in development and they're still working on it. So um, it, it's not ready for a, a massive uh, amount of gameplay yet, uh, but that you can see exactly what's going on over there. So uh, if you're interested and you're so inclined, certainly go check this out. Lunk Zombies, uh, it's the FRG token, uh, certainly would be interesting uh, to have, and you should go pick up some and support the, the ecosystem. Now, uh, burns so far, 359 million last seven days, just an average amount of burns going on. Binance got the big burn coming up very, very soon. So that's it, guys. Lung Zombies, if you want to go check that out, go certainly check that out. You can go back and you can look in the video if you want to see. It's X-A-V-E-N-A-X-V. -E -E but you can't do very much because it's, it's kind of blocked off with big bosses. So uh, to prevent you from going any further while they work on the game, just kind of give you a demo of what it looks like. Um, uh, and if you want to go to Miata.io, mint a few. It's only 200000 It's only 20 bucks to support this community and to support this team to continue the manufacture of this game to get it ready for uh, a big time launch. And it's going to help burn tokens. It's going to uh, give you an opportunity for rewards. So all you have to do is participate. This is not financial advice. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll talk to you again very, very soon. Remember, the Lunk ecosystem is growing day by day, and we're covering these projects. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. We'll talk to you again very, very soon.